In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can work with complex numbers on a Casio ClassWiz calculator. And to get this calculator into the right mode is going to be the most important first step. So we need to change this into the complex numbers mode. So we're going to press menu and then select option two, and that will put you into the complex numbers mode and allow you to access the number I. So let's do an example of something that the calculator can do. So we're going to multiply two complex numbers together. So we're going to do 3 plus 2i multiplied by 4 plus 3i. And to do that, we're going to start with a bracket. Then we're going to do 3 plus 2, and then i is on this ENG button. Close the brackets, simple multiply sign, it just works as normal. Then 4 plus 3i, and then close the brackets, equals, and it will multiply that complex number for you. If you want to do a division of a complex number, so let's look at another example. So say we want to divide 3 plus 2i and uh, 4 plus 3i. What we can simply do is just type that in like so and just press equals and it will do the calculation for you. And it will present it in terms of a fraction automatically. And if you press the S to D button, you can get it in decimal form as well. So that's the simple operations. Some other useful things that you can do is you can find the argument of a complex number. Say we wanted to find the argument of 3 plus 2i, what we can do is select the option menu, and then on option 1 we have argument, and we can do 3 plus 2i, and then equals, and it will find the argument for you, so that can save some time. It can obviously also find the um, conjugate, so if we were to delete that, then go back to option, and then press 2, and we can get the complex conjugate very quickly with that function. The other really useful thing it can do is it can convert between rectangular and polar form. So say we wanted to take a number like 3 plus 2i, and we wanted to convert it to polar form, you just type in the number, then press option, and then go down, and you want option 1, that will convert it into polar form, and then you press equals, and it will present the number in polar form. You can also do it the other way around, so you can enter a number in polar form and then convert it to rectangular form. So say, for example, we did, um, let's say, 2, and then we want an angle. So the angle is on the edge button. We have to press Shift. 2 at an angle of 45 degrees. Make sure your calculator is in degrees if you're putting in degrees. And then we press Option, and we want to go down. And we've got A plus BI, that's rectangular form, so press option 2, and then we can press equals, and that will give you the conversion between polar to rectangular form. The other thing you can do is you can actually find the magnitude, or the absolute value of a complex number. So let's say we had something like 2 plus 2i, and we wanted to find the absolute value. We'd have to look on the calculator for where it says ABS, which is on here, so shift, ABS, and we get these two lines for the magnitude, and we can put in 2 plus 2i, and then press equals, and that will calculate the magnitude. So it's squaring, summing, and square rooting for you. So that's all of the key features of this calculator for working with complex numbers. If you found this useful, please like and subscribe below. And finally, thank you very much for watching.